So this is what I would look like with a hairline. Yeah. So I'm going to the store today. I haven't been in a couple of weeks, so I kind of forgot how people dress. So I just threw something on really quick. So I used two fragrances, specially designed to complement my natural scent profile. It's just chapstick. People think I look like Andrew Tate. It's not true though. I'm way more attractive. I need to pick up some ingredients for my cookies. I had to grab a couple bags. They charge for bags here in California. And my hand sanitizer, because people are dirty. Now, if you haven't had my cookies, they're to die for, which my intern who normally goes to the store for me had and unfortunately passed because he's allergic to pecans. They're, they're fully nut-based. I didn't know that he was allergic, and I guess he didn't either. But we got the lawsuit and everything figured out, so there's no need to worry there. But I'm gonna make my cookies again, just for me. You're still driving, right? Easy on the brakes, easy on the oh. brakes, e easy. Oh, okay. All right, we are here at Trader Joe's. I'm gonna go inside and get these ingredients for my famous cookies. Man, they're done. Come on, they're over yet. Ingredients, maple syrup. I need dark wine. No, get out of here. Get out of here. You need to leave. You're wasting all of our jars. People are so weird at the store. I had eyes on me the entire time. I felt so uncomfortable in there. Are I think you guys so. Ready? Yeah. Okay, I think that's it. ready to check you out here then. All right, let's do it. I don't know how somebody could live where it rains. I mean, your, your, your energy oh, just yeah. increases the minute you, you know, get the rain. Down. Right. Nah, uh, that's why, uh, yeah, seasonal depression's a thing. Yeah, that's yeah. true, I guess, right? Yeah. I don't use any unnatural ingredients. Maple syrup is, is a fruit that comes from a tree. Pecans, which can be deadly if you're allergic. Only if you're allergic, you should know ahead of time. Well, no, so, see, it's way cheaper. A place called Aldi. Aldi's basically uh, like Trader Joe's. I think the owners, uh, they were brothers or something. They got into an argument and made two different grocery stores, something like that. What do you call a pig that never got captured, killed, cut, wrapped up, stuck in a fridge? Cunningham. All right, like I mentioned, we're gonna make my world famous cookies. Is it dark in here? Oh, wait. We're gonna, no! So this is what my cookies look like when they're fully baked. I'm probably not gonna go all out with the icing. The cookie itself is well. Here we are, my original recipe. Two cups. And you can take this to a yoga class and uh, do a sound bath. Anytime I bake, I just gotta reset. It's a very spiritual practice. <laughs> Baking really just calms me down. It's kind of like connecting with your ancestors, hunters and gatherers from the past, and bakers from the past too. So it's been a minute since I baked. My cookies became too popular and there was too much demand. I don't really perform under that much pressure, so I stepped away from it for, it's been a little over a year now, but I'm glad to be back. All right, so we got our dry seasonings. And now we make our wet. Kind of feels like I'm a wizard when I bake. Wingardium Leviosa, I forgot the salt. This is a one tablespoon. It's also a tiny hat. It's okay, you're with that. Yeah, and that's no eggs. I know this takes more time, but there's a lot more care and love that goes into it. And I can even add a little bit of a, like a six pack. When you try these, you're gonna be like, I'm never going back to normal cookies in my life. The camera guy, I mean, not the viewer. You can't taste these. Not because like I don't want you to, just because you're not here. Done. Woo! Shut up, shut up, shut up. Ah, I guess we let them cool. All right, moment of truth here. I guess baking isn't like riding a bike.